All right, I'm gonna teach you how to make web photo galleries in Photoshop, okay? Believe it or not, Photoshop will actually create the HTML, all the pages, and everything for you, okay? If you are a photographer and you need to get your photos up on the web, you need to make a portfolio or something so you can show it to people, show it to clients, well, this is gonna be for you. And if you're not very familiar on how to make web pages, well, Photoshop's going to be your best friend. Let me show you how this works. Come right up here to File. Come down here to Automate and down here to Web Photo Gallery, okay? This is totally awesome. And the more versions, the newer versions of Photoshop that comes out, they keep adding more and more features to the Web Photo Gallery command and everything. So this is really cool. Look up here at the very top. It says Styles, okay? Here we select the style of what we want for our Web Photo Gallery, all right? Click on that right there. We can have a horizontal slideshow. Show. Well, what does horizontal slideshow mean? Well, I tell you what, look over here. We have a preview of the styles that we select from this menu right here. And if you see this horizontal slideshow, what that means basically is you have your images uh, going horizontally across the bottom of the page. And then if you click on one of those images, then it's going to show the full size version just right above that. So that's a really cool thing. I can come up here and just select, uh, you know, center frame basic gallery. This is where you have two frames. You have your photos going down along the, the left here in a frame. And then you click on one of the photos and then it shows the full size version just to the right here. So that's really cool. And now in Photoshop CS, they've added some really cool stuff here. We can actually have a little feedback form on our web photo galleries. So if you actually wanted to have somebody check out your, your website and leave a little feedback on one of the photos that you have, well, you can do that. Just select center frame feedback, or you can have horizontal feedback. I'll select this one. There you go. And you can't, it's hard to see on this little preview here, but you can see a little box here and the little preview window. This is where the person would go in and enter in a little bit of feedback and submit that to you. And when they submit it, it'll go to your email program. Okay, so that's really cool. All right, so let's look what else we have here. We have our email. So we enter in our email here. Okay, just put your email in. So that means your email will, will appear in your photo gallery on your website. Over here where it says source images. Okay, we need to select a folder on our hard drive uh, that contains the images that we want in our photo gallery. Or you can actually choose uh, if you have currently, if you currently have images selected in the file browser that you would like to use for the photo gallery, then you could go ahead and select this right here. Um, but for mine, I'm actually going to go ahead and select folder, okay, and you can include all the subfolders. And right here, you select the destination on where you want Photoshop to design your web page. In other words, this would be another folder on your hard drive, okay? You can see I'll just move this out of the way, and I have a little folder on my desktop right down here called Photo Gallery. And that's where I want Photoshop to create my photo gallery, okay? Let's go ahead and get, get started here. Let me give an example of what a photo gallery looks like. Look at this. Here's a photo gallery that I just created. Uh, and it's got a couple of the default settings. It says Adobe Web Photo Gallery. But you know what? You can change this name underneath the banner settings in the Web Photo Gallery command. Okay, And I'll show you how to do that. Right now, this, this gallery, this little photo gallery that I've made, I've actually selected Slideshow. So this is really cool. When somebody goes to your website, they can actually look at a slideshow. So check that out. That's pretty cool. And so the images change automatically. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually create a web photo gallery in Photoshop. Okay, here we are back at the web photo gallery command. And let's see here for the folder. I've got my folder set up. I'm going to use Liberty and Morgan, which are our models. And we're going to use them. Uh, destination. I'm going to use the destination folder on my desktop here. Make sure that's checked. There we go. Now down here where it says options. Now we have some general options. We can choose uh, if we want our extension for our HTML files. Okay, which is the standard web, uh, you know, file format. You can choose to have it HTML or HTML. 
M, okay, it's up to you. Actually, I got that reversed, but okay. And you can actually uh, select if you want to add the width and height attributes to the image. If you don't any under, understand any of this stuff, then just go ahead and leave it at default, okay? If you want to preserve all the metadata inside of the image, okay? If, if you want to know what the metadata is, please see the file browser basics video and that'll explain what the metadata is in the image, okay? But check this out, come up here to options and come down here to banner. Now the banner is that one little spot we just looked at where it said Adobe Web Photo Gallery. This is just where you wanna have your information. Uh, you know, you just wanna call it uh, My, Photo. My Photo Gallery and then you can just put your name down here my name and then maybe maybe your contact information an email or phone number or something like that and then the date where you where you uh, actually made the foot the photo gallery so uh in the next one right here where it says large image that's our next options here okay so we can actually set uh how large we want these images to be how large we want the full size versions of the images to be in other words when you click on a little tiny image which is a thumbnail and then you view the large image well this is where you set the the information for that large image okay all right so you want it to resize the image as large small whatever it's kind of nice to keep it at, a, at the default setting uh photoshop and, and adobe is actually uh designed it so where it'll fit on most uh most most computer screen sizes so uh, this is a these are very good sizes right here now we can actually select the JPEG quality Photoshop will actually compress the images for us but we need to select a quality do we want the quality to be medium high uh, you know how large are the file size do you, you sort of want to target the file size make sure that the loading times really fast you can select all this right here you want a border Okay, you want to border around your images, okay? If you want that, then you can go ahead and just put a, uh, you know, one, two pixel border uh, in here. So you can go ahead and set the border size. You want to include the file name, description, credits. It's all right here. Click up here on the options once more. Come down here to thumbnails, and we can do the exact same thing. Do you want large, small, large thumbnails, whatever? You can go ahead and modify that. Select, uh, you know, how wide in pixels you want the thumbnails to be. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on this and come down here to custom colors. Uh, custom colors, we have the background. This is like custom colors. This is for the HTML colors, which is, is the colors, uh, not in the photo, but these are the colors actually on the HTML web page, okay? Like the color of the text, the link color, the background color of the website, okay? You can control that, click on that, and just change the background color, okay? So there's a lot of options here, all right? And check this out. We have security. This is a really nice option if you want to have somebody view your portfolio or view your family pictures, whatever you have, and you don't want anybody, you, want, you don't want people to steal the photos and use them somewhere else, you can add security. Now, this is not some like, like electronic security system or anything like that. All this means is that we can actually apply and put like, let's say, a name over the photo so I could put... Uh, I could put XYZ photography, there we go, and XYZ photography will appear on all the photos. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll just make it real small, like a 20, maybe a 30 point uh, typeface, which is really cool. And I can actually select a, you know any color I want for that little watermark thing. And let's see, I could turn down the opacity. So basically putting a watermark on all my images just to copy protect them, okay? It's a very nice feature. I can choose to position that in the center, the top, the left. It doesn't really matter. We can rotate. We can rotate our little custom text for security, okay? So if you've got everything set up, let's go ahead and make sure here we like the, uh, you know, remember to select which web photo gallery that you want to have. I'm going to select the one with the feedback because I think that's really cool. Look, we also have a horizontal slideshow. So when the person gets to the website and you want to have the photos change by themselves automatically, you can select slideshow. I'm going to select feedback right here. And when I'm all done, all I have to do is just go ahead and click OK. Photoshop will actually open up the images for you. It'll resize the images smaller, making the thumbnails. It'll actually design the HTML web pages for you. You don't have to do anything. All you have to do is just upload the contents in the photo gallery folder that you choose. Just upload that to your website and you're done. 
So we just sit here and watch Photoshop do its thing. Check this out. This is totally cool. I can just get up and go have lunch, grab a sandwich, and come back. And look at that. And not only does Photoshop create all this stuff, but it actually opens it up in a browser right for you. Look at this. This is totally cool. I've got my photo gallery up here and my name. I can have the date, my email. Someone can contact me right away. And, I, I, you know, you can, somebody, a client can come in here and just say, that is approved. I like it. And I can just say... There you go. And then I can go ahead and just save that feedback. Uh, I can email the feedback, do whatever I want. So that's really cool. And we can actually switch to photographs by coming down here. You see this? Move this little, uh, move the, you know, move the scroll bar and just browse through the photos just like this. See, it's so easy to do. It creates everything for us. Let's go ahead and look in the folder real quick and see what we got here. I'm going to double click on my photo gallery folder and like, let's see what they made. It, it, Photoshop's made that little separate folder for the thumbnails. It made, made the index.html file. And if you actually want to go and open the photo gallery locally on your computer, double click the HTML file, okay? And that'll load up the photo gallery just like that. Make sure though, when you, when you upload to your web page, make, make sure that you include all these folders, okay? All the folders and all the files that are inside this folder that you choose for your destination folder. Make sure those are all up uploaded to your website, okay? So there you go. And that is how we can create really cool photo web galleries in Photoshop, all right.